highlighted coming up later this month, some new mining regulations over in Uganda. How do you believe this will position Makutu and Ionic Rare Earths, particularly as you move towards a mining license application? Well, the, the, the issue with the, that we've been experiencing there is that once the Mining Act was approved by the Ugandan government, the, the regulations have taken a little bit more time to, to work their way through uh, government and get um, regulatory sign off uh, by the Attorney General in Uganda. So um, it's taking a little bit longer than we had hoped, um, but we understand through consultation with, uh, with stakeholders there at the government level that those regulations are close to being approved. So we expect that very, very shortly. Um, once the regulation or regulations are approved, that then um, enables the, the documentation to then be gazetted, so publicly advertised in Uganda, at which point the company can complete the application fee process, which is the only thing that's been holding up our mining license application process. Um, and once that fee is paid, then the official um, review of the mining license application begins. But I suppose um, you know the documentation has been sitting with the DGSM and the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development now for, for a few months. So we understand that um, that activities and, and understanding the project and what we've submitted have been progressing in parallel. So we expect the mining license is uh, is not going to be far after the uh, the regulations are signed off and approved. All right, good to understand.